Aldous Huxley, whose early experiments with mescaline influenced popular interest in LSD, never lost faith in the value of psychedelic drugs. On the day he died from cancer in 1963, Huxley asked his second wife, Laura, to inject him with LSD. It was the same day that uh, President Kennedy was assassinated. And we were right here in this room. It was then uh, his room, uh, and uh, he was getting very weak. And he said to me, give me a big, big piece of paper. And he wrote uh, intramuscular, 100 uh, microgram of LSD intramuscular. And I filled a syringe with it. and. Uh, I gave it to him. It was very quiet. At a certain point, I said, if you hear me, squeeze my hand, and he did, very weakly. Then I thought, uh, uh, I had the impression that maybe it was necessary to give a second shot, and I asked him, as he indicated. So I gave him a second shot, and that, well, then it was about four or five hours where there was absolutely no jolt, no agitation, nothing, except this very, very quiet, uh, like a music that becomes less and less audible, like a, a going fading away. There was no, no jolt when he died, it was just that breath. Stopped, and there was a beautiful expression in the face. There was a very beautiful expression in the face. <laughs> 